Hello and welcome to this video on the Upstream Project Management Plugin for WordPress. I'm going to be concentrating in this video on how to use the front-end edit extension. Now, this extension allows you to create and update projects via your WordPress site's front-end. It should make it much easier for your customers and clients to work with you on your projects. By default, it is possible to use the WordPress admin area to add projects, to add tasks, and to do your project management. If you log in to an upstream site, in the admin area, you'll see buttons such as new project, where you can create your projects, and you can do everything from the admin side of upstream. However, you may not want a lot of your users to be accessing your WordPress admin area. There is also a front end to upstream. By default, if you don't have the front end edit extension, it'll just be for seeing and looking at the information for the projects. However, on this particular site, you can see that there are buttons such as add project where you can actually interact with the front end of upstream. In this case, if I click on add project, I'll be able to get a pop-up where I can create a new project and all of the items on the page have a pencil icon so that I can edit the information. The same goes for individual tasks inside each project. For example, the tasks for a particular project are going to have pencil icons next to them as well. This is why it's called the front-end edit extension. These front-end editing features that you see are made possible thanks to the front-end edit extension. If I was to go to the admin side of my WordPress site and deactivate the upstream front-end edit extension, all of those buttons and the pencil icons that I saw would now disappear. All of the information that we saw before is still there. It's still visible. It's 100% intact. The only difference is that I would have to go to the admin area of WordPress to update this information. So the front-end edit extension just makes it easier for people to interact with projects, particularly people who you don't trust to go to the WordPress admin area, then the front-end edit extension is great for those people. If I reactivate the front-end edit extension and refresh my upstream site again, you'll see those buttons are back. There's an add task button, there's an add milestone button, there are files. I can interact with the front end of Upstream. Thanks to the front end edit extension, we have some Upstream users who managed to present Upstream to their customers as if it wasn't related to WordPress at all. Upstream has its own unique design for the front end and those Upstream customers don't want their uh, their own clients going into the WordPress admin area and poking around and breaking things they shouldn't. So if you're in the same situation and you want to keep people who are involved in projects away from the upstream admin, I recommend the front-end edit extension. If you do install the front-end edit extension, I think you'll find it to be a smooth and enjoyable experience. There's nothing that users can't do with the front-end edit extension that they can do in the admin. The front end is perhaps even better than using the WordPress admin because thanks to the front end edit extension, you can edit just about any part of the project. And if you're navigating and browsing through the projects on the front end, you get all of that functionality. Plus there are extra features such as the project timeline Gantt chart and the calendar and extra features that you don't get if you just use Upstream through the WordPress admin. If you haven't done so yet, give Upstream and the front-end edit extension a try. You'll be able to create your own project management site right there on your own WordPress site. 